Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris back with another video. And it's been a long time since I've actually done a video on the Zook Z2. Um, so I thought it was about time um, since I haven't really done one. Um, this is actually something I just found out and looks like there are, um, I should say, Android Oreo ROM that is out for the Zook Z2 or Z2 Plus. Um, this is AICP. Um, this is still, I would consider, um, kind of beta at this point, um, but this is the official AICP um, Android Oreo 8.0 um, ROM, as we can see here, 8.0. So I flashed it. Um, again, always create a backup um, of any current ROM that you're on, backup um, apps, TWRP, that sort of thing. Um, and so that way, if something's not stable, if you just don't like it, you can always revert back. Um, huge thing I recommend. Um, so anyways, let's get into it, see what this is about. Um, this has not been my daily driver for any period of time. I just flashed it. Um, I do want to let you know that it is going to take a little while to, to boot on first boot. Um, so don't freak out about being in boot loop or anything like that. It just takes a long time. Um, and it is very slow at first um, on setting up, going through the install, things like that, um, because it just needs to settle in. But after you get through the setup, after it restores your apps, you give it a minute, um, it it's smooth at that point. So yeah, so a few things here, Android Oreo, so you get all the nice um, new updates as far as um, the UI, things like that, your settings. Um, there is an AICP extra section here. Um, so there is some customization for status bar. There's not too much though at this point, um, since I think there's more important things that need to be resolved first before customization, stuff like that. Um, quick settings, some settings there that you can go through. Recents, you can change the location of your recents location. So if you swipe over, there's your recents button down there. One thing right off the bat, there's no navigation bar down here. Um, so it is using all of the uh, ZUI um, gestures on this home button. So press to go home, for example, or you can press a tap to go back um, or swipe to open your recents, that sort of thing. So all of that works, which is great at least. You can probably enable the navigation bar in the uh, build prop um, by adding probably uh, changing a line on there to get that enabled. Um, so it's not a big deal. It just takes a little workaround versus something built in. But something I did notice, if we go into setting system, system UI tuner, you have the navigation bar and its layout is normal so you can add the navigation buttons on the left and right kind of like how it was in developer preview for the pixel and nexus devices um, but it's not there um, do not disturb the lock screen you have some shortcuts you can change and then the uh, the status bar your your standard hide your icons up there and things like that a um, few things to to note um, since it is still, I would say, in beta, there is one other, the AOSP Extended, um, that is considered alpha at this point, so they're pretty much going to be about the same um, as far as uh, their bugs, things like that. Um, when If you saw that real quick, turning off the, the power kind of puts the screen real quick upside down. So yeah, so basically, um, just when you turn off the display, the, the screen will just rotate right there real quick, and then it just comes back to normal. So that's not uh, too big, big of an issue, just more of cosmetic. Um, I am using the uh, the modified Pixel Launcher at this point, which you do get the navigation bar, or the Google Now uh, sidebar. Um, you get the nice little like bounce kind of animation in the, uh, the app drawer. You do get your home settings for at a glance, notification dots are all there and then you also have the option for a dark theme or not and then your your icons you can circle square so when i first flashed it it was on set to system default and it kind of looked like a miui kind of very square type thing which is really weird i was not expecting that so thankfully we are able to change that to 
to circle as it looks much nicer at that point. Of course, I can't really comment on battery life. I would definitely say this is something more just to check out, things like that, to enjoy on Hazook Z2 Plus Android Oreo, because I, it's definitely not going to get Oreo from Lenovo or Zook um, at this point. So something nice that developers have been able to uh, implement here. You still do get the uh, mobile hotspot. I don't have my SIM card in here, um, so I can't comment whether or not it's going to have um, voice over LTE. Yeah, I can't, I can't comment on that, unfortunately, so I do apologize, guys. Now, it does support OTA, so if you have TWRP recovery and they come out with an OTA, um, you should get that, which is nice, at least. Actually, it was in our AICP extras. If you scroll down to the bottom, Update Center, it'll at least notify you if there's a, an update. So that's nice that OTA is implemented, uh, makes updating very easy. And since this is a nightly 13.0 uh, nightly build, 10.15 is the, the build number. So today is the 19th. So I would sus suspect maybe maybe once a week is probably a safe bet as far as update goes for this. Um, so I wanted to share this with you all. Um, I'll leave the link where you can find AICP Android Oreo and where you can download this. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. This hasn't been my daily driver, so I can't tell you um, just daily performance, but I just wanted to, to show you um, that it is running here on the Zook Z2. So we can definitely expect Android Oreo updates here in the very near future on other ROMs and getting more stability for daily usage. So thank you all for watching. Hit that subscribe button and the like button, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.